All right, so now for this video, I'm going to be talking about competency, what is it? 2O for, oh, no, never mind. 2P for uh, PNF techniques for muscle strength and endurance. So one of the uh, standards for this is the patient has to have at least most, if not all, of their range of motion back uh, and uh, significantly decrease in pain because you don't want to start any significant strength or endurance training when they still have pain because that puts them more, at more risk for uh, re-injury and stuff like that. So just some stuff for that you could do with the upper body. So you could do the push-up progression program. So you could do wall push-ups. So whoop. Uh, then you progress going lower. So to the table. Uh, then going to a chair, which I'm not going to do. And then moving to the floor. And then you can move your feet up higher once you get your arms to the floor. So uh, propping your legs up on a chair making it a little more difficult. And then you can put yourself on an unstable surface. So putting your feet on a physio ball or a Swiss ball, uh, putting your feet on a foam roller and stuff like that. Um, another thing for the upper extremity that you could do for strength and endurance, can you hold that please? You could do um, rows or scapular exercises with the TheraBand. You could do, I'll hold that end. You can do uh, internal and external rotation exercises for the shoulder. Um, and then for, uh, also you can do my lovely five pound weights. Uh, you can do biceps curls, shoulder press, emphasizing on the triceps. Uh, you can do dumbbell rows going like this. Um, you can do it bilateral. You can do it with a bar also for bilateral. Uh, you can do RDLs, which is uh, utilizing upper and lower body, also improves proprioception. Um, and then for the lower body, you could do goblet squats, so holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell like this, squats, uh, lunges, you can't really see me, but I'm going down to a lunge, stuff like that. Uh, it's definitely like for endurance, some slide board techniques. Um, another thing for endurance that you could do for the upper body is plank progression, which affects the core and the upper body. So you could do normal planks and sideline, then progress to moving onto an unstable surface. So doing like stir the pot exercises, counterclockwise and clockwise, moving opposite directions while holding that uh, plank position and stuff like that. So those are just the main exercises that you can do uh, that I could think of uh, for strength and endurance. Uh, so yeah, there you go.